I love TypeScript. It lets me move faster than I've ever been able to move as a developer. Sadly, that's not the experience I see others having. I know a lot of developers who are using TypeScript in ways that slows them down rather than speeds them up. I don't think that should ever be the case, and I'm tired of people letting TypeScript block them. Some ways subtle, some ways aggressive, always bad. Make sure you watch to the end because there's some tricks there that even I didn't know about until recently in my career, and I wish I knew them a lot earlier. What do I mean by TypeScript blocking? Generally, what I'm referring to when I say TypeScript is blocking somebody is there is code that could or should work that doesn't because of TypeScript. That means that there's a compiler error preventing the code from coming out. It means CI is blocking them from seeing the result. It can mean a lot of different things. If you have code that you think should work and you wanna see if it does or not, and you can't because of TypeScript, that is a failure. The first mistake I wanna talk about is using TSC. TSC is great for validating your TypeScript to make sure your types are correct. Sadly, it is not good for compiling TypeScript. If you want to take a pile of TypeScript and run it in your browser, TSC is one of the worst ways to do that. Not because TSC is bad, just because it is slow. The TypeScript compiler's goal is to make sure your TypeScript is correct. You don't need to know that all the time. You sometimes just need to have the JavaScript on the other side. The reason we see big tools like Vite, Next, and Remix moving away from doing this in TSC and Webpack and towards doing this in new tools like ESBuild and SWC is because of the speed difference. When you use a native language to convert TypeScript to JavaScript, it's gonna go way faster. We're talking tens of seconds down to milliseconds and every tool is moving in that direction. The other thing I see people doing with TSC that scares me is blocking the browser's output on it. Having errors is great. Knowing where your type errors are is awesome, but those appear in your editor almost always. And if they don't, you should fix that. And even then you can run TSC in the background and have TypeScript showing you what's wrong without blocking the output to your browser. More often than not, when I have a type error that I don't immediately fix, that's because it's in my way and I just wanna figure out what works. If I'm not starting with types, I'm ending with them. Types are not the middle of my experience. I either have good type definitions when I start on a feature or I write the feature and then I add the type defs once I figure out what is and isn't working. Obviously function definition stuff, fine. But when I'm fetching from an API, I'm not gonna write the type before I test the thing. This one was inspired by a rant from Zach on Twitter. I will like, put the screenshot in here so I can show that like uh, both Matt Pockick and I ratioed him. The biggest TypeScript advocates don't get type errors in their browser. They get them in their editor. All of us TypeScript lunatics don't write type safe code all the time. A lot of our code has red squigglies until it's working and then we go deal with it after. And I want to emphasize that point. We write code with type errors and then we fix them after. TypeScript is not the process of writing a whole bunch of type definitions. And the amount of TypeScript code bases I see that are like hundreds of type.ts files all over the place for like every component, it's a mess. Types should be as close to the data they represent as possible. If you have an API call and that API call has data that has a type, you shouldn't put that type in some API types folder and then import it in the API call. You should put in the API call, fetch, whatever, as the type, just put the type there. The closer you have a type definition to the thing that it's typing, the easier it is to make changes. And if your type definitions are all over the place and now you're scared to do a refactor because all the import paths are gonna be broken or this thing's being used in 17 places, TypeScript is blocking you from making changes that could be making your code base better, that could be making features for your users better. And you're letting TypeScript block you, not because TypeScript is blocking you, but because your type system's complexity is blocking you. So don't let the complexity creep up when you could just put the type next to the thing that is using it. You'll be amazed how much simpler this one makes things. And now for my final tip. This is the big one. Don't block on TypeScript in your builds. I can't believe this is one I have to bring up, but like for whatever reason, when people deploy on Vercel or they do a build in their CI, they always like to run TypeScript first. Don't. Have a separate CI step that checks your type definitions the same way you check linting. TypeScript is closer to a linter than it is a language. Take advantage of it. Use it like that. I turn off type checking in all of my Next.js builds, in all of my Vite builds, and in everything I deploy on Vercel. Block merging, I'm not saying deploy code to users that has type errors. A preview build doesn't have to be type safe. The amount of just CPU cost you can save by not blocking every single deployment on TypeScript is hilarious. Even massive code bases can have build times under two minutes if they don't type check when they do the builds. The process of running your app on your servers and the process of type checking your app to see if it's correct or not 
should be separate and you should block main merges, but you shouldn't block preview builds and you shouldn't block testing code on types. I see so many build chains where one little type error results in 12 X's appearing in your CI and you don't get to do anything with it. Screw that, run the code, who cares? Here's I, Theo, the well-regarded TypeScript advocate telling you to ship code that isn't type safe until you're ready to merge. It is fine to do that. And I wish someone told me this earlier because I had a lot of CI that was a lot slower than it needed to be. And that's it. Let me know if this was helpful. I saw a lot of bad takes. So I wanted to talk about them. I have a few more videos about using TypeScript and JavaScript wrong. The one right here is really good. So check that out if you haven't yet. Appreciate you all as always. Peace nerds.